Hello doers and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio. In this video, we're talking about packages, which are containers used to transfer a bunch of products all at once. So this container can be anything you want, like a box, a, a pallet, which I can't carry, or even a car. But who keeps track of what products are in a package, where the package is going and where it's been? Packages are also used in shipping products to our customers and in batch, wave, and cluster picking. But we'll show off those workflows in separate videos, always linked in the description below. A word of caution, my friends. Oh, doers, please listen to me. Packages are not packaging. Packagings are standardized groupings of a single type of product, like a box of soda cans. Packages are arbitrary groupings of products used by us to store, move, and ship a variety of products. Check out our video on packagings, linked in the description to learn more about that. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to put products in packages and how to use packages and transfers to move items together through your warehouse. So without further ado, first things first, let's make sure the packages feature is enabled by going up to the configuration and then selecting settings over here. So from here, let's enable this nice little checkbox next to packages under the operation section. And then we're going to select save just before moving on. Okay, let's put some products in some packages. It's worth noting that we can only put goods inside of packages. No matter how hefty your consultation fee may be, it won't go on a pallet. Alrighty, so I'm gonna click on overview just to return to the main inventory dashboard over here. Now in the receipt section, I noticed that I have one to receive. Um, let's actually just click that. Now before I actually go ahead and validate this one in front of me for tabletops and table legs, I'm going to look down here in the bottom right corner and I see this nice little button that says put in pack. I'm going to click it. Well, that makes this convenient packages smart button appear up here in the top center. I'm actually going to select the list icon, however, over here next to the quantity on tabletops. And we're taken over here to see the package that these items are going into. So here we have a destination package. I'm going to see that I happen to have Pack 19, that's a lot of zeros also included there. And Odoo generated the name and number for this package for me, and it put all of the items in the receipt in it for me. But let's close out of here. Okay, if I wanted to, let's say, put the table legs over here inside of a different package, I could actually do that from here. I could click this list icon button again, and I'm gonna click into where it says Pack 19, and you see this nice little down arrow, let's hit search more. And then we're going to select new over here. If you look at that, I can see that Odoo has created a new empty pack for me. I'm going to click save and close on this one. All right, now I've created two packages. The original one that was created with the put in pack over there. And a new one specifically for my table legs. I'm going to click the save button just to return over here to the order. Finally, I'm going to select validate on the top left to signal that we have finished receiving the products and move them into the new packages. Now I can click on the packages smart button. And, oh, I see nothing but beauty right there. Look at that. We can see where everything wound it up. I have the two packages right there. And I'm going to select the first one because you recall that's for my four tabletops right there. I'm going to also select this right arrow on the top right. And I can see my second package, which is 16 table legs. I could also click products and packages as well if I wanted to to see all the packages that I currently have in the warehouse. So that's cool, we know how to put things in packages now, but where packages really shine is traceability. We can track transfers, see a history of movements through our storage space. So how do we do that though? Well, we need to use storage location. So I'm gonna select configuration and settings once again. This time around, however, let's scroll down until we reach the very far down warehouse section. You see storage locations, tick that box, Click save, always save your progress. And now when I click configuration, I have a lot of extra options. This time locations appears over here and clicking it, I can see my locations. I have three shelves, shelf A, B, and C already in my database. If I needed to create more locations, I would just select the new button up in the top left. So the last setting that I need to configure as well is to set my transfers to always move all the items and the package together. So I'm gonna click configuration once again, and this time we're gonna select operation types. All right, perfect. 
and this allows us to see the three operations we are currently using. I'm going to select internal transfers over here from the list and inside of our packages section down here, make sure that the box by move entire packages is ticked off. If you haven't done so already, do that so that Odoo will assume that I want to be able to move our items as a group anytime they are in a package. Now, we're actually all set to get these packages moving. I'm going to click on overview once again from the top heading, and we're back over to our inventory's homepage. And let's make a transfer for one of our new packages. I'm going to select internal transfers over here, and then I'm going to select a new button up at the top left. All right, on this new internal transfer form inside of our operations tab, I could see the usual place where I would add products. Below that is a package section. I'm going to click add a line right here, and I'm going to select the first package that we created. So let's select it. All right, so the very first one that we picked was the 19 one. All right, so that's perfect right there. I'm pretty sure that was the one for the tops. So now in the uh, two area, well, where should I actually do this? Well, we're going to select our tiny little arrow. And this time around, I'm going to move this one to shelf A. I'm going to move this ever so slightly so you can see that. Perfect. Okay, now that we're done with that, we're going to select that align and do the same thing with the second package that we made. And this time around, this one ends in a 20. So I hope it shows up right there. Perfect. All right, so for this one, we're going to do this one over to shelf B. I want to be a little bit different with this one. All right, once that we're done with that, I'm going to click away. I can actually use an internal transfer to move products into a package if I'm doing it outside of a receipt as well. Now for our product section over here on the top, I'm going to select add a line. And then this time I'm going to pick the acoustic block screens over here. And I'm going to set the demand to four. All right, now that we're all done, I'm also going to click mark as to do in the top left. And then I'm also going to click this very handy. I'm going to do it once again, put in pack button that appears over here. We'll see that Odoo added a third package right there. Beautiful. So I can actually click the list icon on this row as well. And would you look at that? It contains the four acoustic block screens. So I'm actually going to click on confirm just to close that out. Now we just need to imagine that I move both of these packages to the appropriate shelves and then go up to the top and select validate. Now when I click on the move smart button over here, the acoustic block screens were picked from WH stock and ended up in WH stock over here. But they also got a destination package as we could tell over there. So they didn't go anywhere, but they're in a package now. My table legs actually happen to be right here in the package below, mark 20. And they have now been moved over to shelf B. With the destination package the same as the one they started in. And the table tops over here and moved over to shelf A. Isn't that nice? So I can also select products and then packages once again. And would you look at that? They're now organized by location. All of the packages in my warehouse. There you have it, Odooers. Today, we learned some common ways that packages can be used in your workflows to group products. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.